you turn to Psalms 13. And I'm going to go ahead and read for the sake of time. How long would thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long would thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. And the Lord was just speaking this to me, and I, and I know I'm not my, by myself, Velika. Uh, there's more in here that has, has asked God, how long? How long do I have to keep going through what I'm going through? God, how long do I have to endure this pain? God, how long do I have to suffer in whatever area you're suffering in? I, I, I could name a whole lot of things, but we know. How long? Verse 5, I got to read it again. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Salvation is continuous deliverance. And, and, and though David was going through some things and he began to ask God, how long, how long, God, how long? At the end of that psalm, he began to give God praise. He told him, I will trust in you. I put my petition before him. Some things haven't happened. I'm still going through some things, but in the midst of it all, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Turn over to Second Chronicles. Because I've been asking God some things. How long? And I'm going to share with you the answer that he gave me. <laughs> oh, God, I thank you. You know, and I felt that, Co-Pastor. I felt that. And a lot of things that you deal with, you don't even share with other people. A lot of people don't even know the suffering that you go through because you don't share that. But God said this, and I, I'm sharing this today, but this is for all of us. Do you hear me? Our deliverer is here. Salvation is continuous deliverance. Yes, he saved me out of sin. I'm in righteousness now, but that doesn't stop the salvation of God. I need him to deliver me out of a whole lot of things. I need deliverance in some things. And he spoke to me last week. Our deliverer is here. He's here. Somebody should have gave him praise. Our deliverer is here. If you're sick in your body, our deliverer is here. If your finances are not like they ought to be, your deliverer is here. If you're struggling in some areas of your life, your deliverer is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here. And if you can believe it, you ought to open your mouth and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, I hear those shunda. Hey, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, God, I thank you. Second Chronicles 17. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. <laughs> Set yourselves. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord. I heard it yesterday in prayer. Suddenly, suddenly, he's getting ready to deliver. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. There is no reason that this ministry should be struggling fi financially. God says suddenly. Suddenly, 
and you won't get the credit for it. I won't get the credit for it. But God is getting ready to do it. Suddenly, deliver us is here. It's here. It's here. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In this very passage right here, Jehoshaphat and, and his men, they were facing some, some, some enemies. How many of you know that at the end of the day, when God moved and his deliverance took place, they didn't fight the battle? Their enemy, when they walked out, their enemy was laying there dead. Stand still. You don't need to fight in this one. See, some of the stuff that I've been going through, I've been laying at home in the bed, and I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do this one, how am I going to figure out that one. And on the side over here, I got my little backup plan. But the Lord said, you stand still. You see my salvation. You watch me deliver in this area. You watch me do it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Every need that you have, deliverance is here. It's here. It's here. Verse 27 and 28 of Second Chronicles. I want to tell you something, guys. I, I had to step back, Pastor. I had to evaluate the enemy. <laughs> I had to see what was going on in this situation. But I want to let you know something. When God, God began to show me where I was, and somebody said it this morning during Sunday school. Y'all was all up in my stuff this morning in Sunday school. But he began to show me where I was. And do you know you can go through some things that unforgiveness and bitterness, if you don't let that thing go, will creep in quickly. Cause see, I've been there. Angry. Bitter. And I had to step back and evaluate the enemy. And when God showed me my heart, he said, and it ain't even about you. You better look at what the enemy is doing. Don't be ignorant of his devices. Because, see, when you're bitter and when you're nursing your pain, you're not praying for anybody else. I couldn't pray for myself. I couldn't be there for somebody else. And that's what it's all about. So I had to evaluate what was going on. You want to sit there. You want to nurse your pain. You want to isolate. You want to back up from people. It is people hurting. He said, will you trust me? Will you trust me? You step back and you let God do it. Let him do it. Will you trust me? Will you trust me? My God, it's in your hands. <laughs> I can't do it anyway. It's in your hands. And so verse 27 and 28, they, then they turn, returned, every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem, <clears throat> excuse me, with joy, for the Lord had made them rejoice over their enemy. And they came to Jerusalem with psalteries and harps and trumpets unto the house of the Lord. Pastor told us last week, turn that thing, shift it, shift it. You prayed about it. You've given it to God. Now thank him, praise him because it's done. It's done. I don't see it, but I believe that in my praising God and my lifting him up, he's turning it around. It's done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. And I don't have to fight that battle, girl. I don't have to do a thing, Minister Shivers. But stand and watch God do it. Amen. Stand and watch him do it. Your deliverer is here. And you're going to see it manifest if you come out of yourself and begin to praise God. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him. Begin to praise him. Because when you do that, you lift it out of self. I had a fit up in my house last week. The devil is a lie. Because I've seen too many people just this past couple of weeks. My head is down. I'm nursing mine. And people walking past me on my job, people I'm working with, in pain. And I can't find it within myself to minister to them. Oh, something's wrong with that picture. Mm. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. You ain't got to fight it. You ain't got to fight it. It doesn't change right now. But I'm telling you, it's changed. <laughs> Hallelujah.